So not, not to the point of killing people though. I mean, Hi. she did it with her hands. Mm, he had to go, I mean. <laughs> see, he had to go. Like, so I can see, basically from what I can see right now is that but you... But wait, oh, hold, hold up. Scarlet and we are two different people. Let's go that way. Yeah, but what? So don't see me on the road and start running. <laughs> I won't murder you, I promise. Yeah, but the... Hello, Scarlett. Hi, Connie. This is not. <laughs> it seems like yeah. This is a safe space. <laughs> I would, it is a safe space, but I would. I wish. I well, usually yeah, this I'm, is a I'm couch. Not asking the question. This is a couch, and it feels like a therapy session. Yeah, right? so this is a safe space. <laughs> it is a safe space. No problem. Well, how have you been? How is everything? How is? How is everything? Everything is fine. Um, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm enjoying my life. <laughs> <laughs> Soft life. So, yeah, yeah. I want to ask one question okay. that I can relate to. So mm -hmm. I'm going to ask. That's the first question I'm going to start with. Okay. What was your reaction like when you saw yourself on the billboard? When you first saw yourself on the billboard? Okay, let me be very honest. This is that wasn't going to be the first time I was going to see myself on a billboard. Okay. But usually, when I see myself on billboards, it's usually that I'm probably modeling something or advertising okay. something. But this time around, it was a me thing. Yeah. Right. This is the first time that I'm going to be the lead of a major, major production. So having to, I didn't even get to see myself on it first. You saw pictures. People you were sending me pictures, pictures right? Because I was, we were, we filmed in Ocean State and you know, the billboards were up in Lagos, in Bado and everything. So I started getting notifications and my mind I was wondering why, my, why, why is my phone blowing up, right? So I pick up my phone, open it and I start to see like people sending me videos of them in front of the billboard saying, ah, you don't blow, you don't. And then it was an amazing feeling, right? Yeah. It was extremely, I'm sure you can relate. Yeah, to because when I first saw mine, it was congratulations. It was the congratulations was the first right? thing. Yeah, congr I think it was one of the brands that did congratulations right. to our winner. And right. Yeah, so I can relate. I can definitely relate <laughs> yeah, to that Yeah, and one. then people kept telling me congratulations as well because here in Nigeria, once you're on the billboard, yeah, yeah, you are blown. Yeah. You cannot tell them that you know you are going through things. Yeah, you're not going through anything. You're on the billboard. You yeah, are, you are, exactly. no, you are blown. There's exactly. no, yeah. But it was an amazing feeling, especially my mom having to call me, and she was even more excited than I was, and I really got emotional having to talk to her because it felt like you see all the hard work, all the time you've been supporting me and praying for me. Here's the result, right? Uh -huh. And now she can go by, drive by, and tell people when she's going. No, oh, that's that's my daughter. That I know my mom from far. She's going to. She's going to. Don't worry, Do you know too. the thing is, our friends would know, right? She doesn't even need it. So that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens when that those kind of things happen. Happens. Yeah, is that people that you don't even remember knowing remember knowing you. Mm -hmm. So the people that bring that your mom don't even remember knowing, remember knowing her mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a result you're right. of your hard you're work. Very, you're very so, correct, because I have people sending me messages that I haven't spoken to in years. Don't worry. Like, oh my God, I just saw It's just the beginning. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, um, Wura, before we talk about how you became Wura, yeah. we had to talk about how you started acting. So, how did you get into acting? Um... I know a lot of people used to, like would say the same story like oh acting wasn't what they really wanted to do they just stumbled on it but for me I actually really just stumbled on it. I followed my friend for an audition it was a I think it was Tinsel's audition and you know I didn't know how auditions were I didn't know how we, it would go I didn't know it would take the entire day so my mom was going I said we got there seven I said 12 you know it hadn't started we just started registering them and everything. And I'm like, ah. normal African time. Yeah. You, it, it, like, it wasn't even an African time thing. There were just a lot of people. Oh, so it okay. was a lot of process, right? By the time she went in, my mom was already calling, where are you, where are you? You said you were going to be gone for two hours max. So I needed to find a way to just give her bag and leave because my mom was going to kill me. Um, I tried talking to the officials to let me go drop her belongings and just leave. And they said they insisted on me not entering and the only way I could enter was to audition. So I filled the form, hoping that, you know, before I get into the audition room, this babe will come out and collect her bag. Yeah. But as luck will have it, fortunately for me, she didn't come out on time. So I went in for the audition and um, 
because it was not a familiar territory. I didn't know what I was to do. So I had the judges having to explain to me what to do. But they didn't push very... No, <laughs> funny enough. And that's the thing, they were so nice because I feel to them they get to see a lot of people like that that come in clueless and not knowing what it is. But since they just saw the audition, they said uh -huh. I want to do audition, right? So um, they just told me to, you know, act anything. They gave me scenarios and I acted it and I went back home, right? Forgetting that I did anything like that. A month later, I get a call from Africa Magic and they said they wanted me to come in for a reading. I'm like, are you sure you have the right number? Are you sure you're not trying to reach my friend? And they're like, no, you're Scarlett, right? I said, yes. I said, yes, it's you. And then I went for the reading and then I got the job. <laughs> and yeah. The see, rest is history. See, yeah, so, so so it's it's and and that's like something that everybody should take away from this. That if you, I don't know, you might not feel like, but yes, just, just go try and, it. Yeah, try. You try. never know. Because right now, I don't think I would be doing anything else. I'm so much in love with my job that I find it difficult to do other things. It's it's that bad. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people live their lives through you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm that, starting to realize yeah, that a lot of people live their lives through yeah. you. So. You owe it to yourself because you can only give what you have to make True. yourself happy with what True. you do and then True. that happiness spreads out back to them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's awesome. I'm happy because it's a, it's, a, it's a level of experience that changes yeah. you as a person. It does, it yeah. does. It's left for you to now decide how it changes you, maybe for the better or for the worse. Yeah, well, now this is where being a good person innately or a negative person innately comes to play when you assess a new level of influence be it fame power or money it amplifies who you truly are mm -hmm. so if you're a great person a good person it amplifies it if you i are agree the other way, to some certain extent but sometimes i feel like you can't help but just be human sometimes the pressure is just so much that you snap even you don't know that you're going to no snap. it's not about Clearing people. That one is clear. Anybody I'm not even talking clear about people. clearing people. It's the fact that you just feel overwhelmed. Yeah. You, it feels you, like a lot happening at once, right? Yeah, but that's where people are around you also. So how do you, when it gets this like overwhelming and all of that, how do you, how do you silence the noise? How do you move away from that? How do you center yourself? Yeah, the people around you help. And then you, yes, you yourself also. And that's another thing I'm still saying, the love. The love for what you do mm -hmm. and then when you now realize that this thing happening around me is a detriment to what i love so i need to step back for myself mm -hmm. to take care of myself so it doesn't affect what i what love, I love. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so that's it but yeah back to back to wura tell us because not just me i'm i'm curious about mm -hmm. wura but tell everybody here is curious about Wura. Everybody watching curious about. So tell us about Wura. Okay, so Wura is um, Show Max's first Nigerian telenovela, original telenovela, and it centers around um, a certain woman, a powerful woman, who would do anything for her family, who is highly ambitious, and um, it also tells the story of the rich and the poor, the haves and have have nots and how their lives come to blend together at some point and how they cross paths and how the rich will do whatever it is to hold on to the wealth and the affluence that they have and how they have not tried to, you know, make better of themselves and their lives and leave the, so to speak, trench, trenches and move to the, yeah, you soft life. Mean, soft life, exactly. So it's everything in one. It's if you're if you're looking for drama, if you're looking for romance, if you're looking for, it has everything, suspense, everything. Yeah, and 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 I feel like from what me I've seen in the movie, there's this. It's relatable to some extent because you can see somebody who is trying to do something good, and then you can see somebody who is trying to do something for themselves, and yeah. it's it's talks about what we have in Nigeria. Exactly. There are some people who want to help people and mm -hmm. then there are some people who stop those people who want to help people because helping those people is at the detriment to, to themselves, them. yes. 
So Definitely. yeah, it's it speaks of the society that as and there are a lot of lessons so, to be learned. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people can watch it, like you said, relate to it and say, okay, On different levels. maybe this is how I should do this. Maybe this is how I should not, you know. Yeah. At the end of the day, just, you know, there's something for everybody. So um, I learned that the certain, like the, you guys are shooting, you said earlier, you guys are shooting Ocean State, Ilefe. Mm -hmm. So how is it like, what's the most fascinating thing about that? Okay, so for me, the most fascinating thing about that is the fact that, you know, it feels like I'm going back to roots, right? Um, Ife is a cultural place. You get there, you can almost touch the culture. I don't know if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, you're surrounded by culture, wonderful people, warm people, good food as well, like okay. traditional food. If you're looking for okay. the proper... Amala, you get it. You're looking for the union, the one no pound the union, you find it like I feel like it's a blend of everything for me. Like for me, it came at a time where I just needed a breather, right? From the hustle and bustle life Lagos. of Lagos. And then going to Ife was just amazing. I have two faithful birds that wake me up every morning. Birds? Yes, like they're right by my by my window so they have their nest right there. Omo. In ah. nature. Like I've, I see, I see squirrels. I see, I see even animals I didn't even think existed. You know, so it's it's amazing. It's 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 That's beautiful. That's you just said about bed. Mhm. Mm eh? Eh? Yes. Yes, now. You know, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Look, please don't 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 bring that here, please. It's nature. There's nothing wrong with nature. It's just it's beautiful. Um, many people, many viewers, yeah, would if they would. Describe Wura. The first adjective or one of the top three adjectives that will come to their mind is wicked. Would you say Wura is wicked? Well, it depends on the angle you're looking at it from. Thank you. It depends on the angle you're looking at it from. I mean, like I said, the way people talk about Wura, they just talk about her like she wakes up in the morning and goes, hmm, I have time on my hands. What do I want to do? Or oh, maybe I should kill somebody. No, right? For every action she takes there's uh, there's the, for for the reaction there's an action right mm -hmm. there's somewhere some there's somebody somewhere trying to be greedy trying to make her life miserable trying to come for her family or the peace and the happiness and i mean you got to secure the bag so if you come for the bag you come for the family so you, you wouldn't what you describe see. her as wicked Nicolette. I don't know if this is the fact that, you know, uh, <laughs> I've entered into the character so much. But for me to be able to play Wura, I had to learn to see things from her perspective mm -hmm. and to put myself in her shoes. And to a very large extent, I feel like there's a reason for why she does what she does. Wura is not wicked. So let me ask you, let me ask you, do you think Wura is a wicked person? No, I don't. I'm a realist. I'm a realist. So I'd, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't speak from a perspective of so there's always people that see what you do as wrong regardless of you depends on the perspective everybody. that mm -hmm. yeah and then I, I'm of the opinion that there's a level you get to in life there's some levels you step on people's toe now not to the point of killing people though I mean Hi. she did it with her hands mm, he had to go I mean <laughs> see he had to go like, so I can see basically from what I can see right now is that but you, wait oh, hold, hold up Scarlet and Wura are two different people. Let's get that straight. Yeah, but what? So don't see me on the road and start running. <laughs> I won't murder you. I promise. Yeah, but the truth is, from what I can see now, yeah. what I can understand is you, you are, you are the character already mentally, and you can, you can. That kind of shows how, how you you take your job seriously because you're you're right here defending the actions of Wura. Thank you. I have and to. If I don't believe in who she is, I, I don't think I will portray, be able to portray yeah. who she is. Trust so. me, I'm scared of you. You should be. Yeah, I, you see? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, mm. do you have any similarity with Wura? <laughs> no, but seriously, yes, I think I do. Not in the modern aspect, but in terms of ambition. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm very ambitious as well. I'm a go-getter. I do not take no for an answer. I feel like you read this character and you saw, oh, this is what this person is about. Mm -hmm. And then they said, Scarlet, you're going to be Wura. Mm -hmm. Why did you say yes? Apart from the, the reasons that obviously, yeah, you're going to be, but 
what yes. connected you to it? Uh, first off, the story. I feel the, the story is very unique. I feel it's, like you said, highly relatable. Uh -huh. I also saw it as a huge challenge because this is what a 45 year old woman, I'm just 30. So having to play a, a character that is way older than me that has grown up children, I don't even have one. So having uh, to put yourself in, in that headspace of yeah. I'm a mother, I have to think 45, be 45 and all of that. I saw it as a challenge as well. And then contrary to the roles that I have been given, it just felt like this is it, you know? When you feel like, oh, I've been doing the same thing over and over and over and I just, I, I need a breath of this fresh air. This is that air. difference. This was the difference. And whether you like it or not, we cannot but mention the fact that I'm going to blow. So I took it as You've well. Blown. Exactly. You've blown. You've <laughs> blown. Everybody, so, yeah. everybody likes was, or everybody knows Wura. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for likes Wura, but everybody <laughs> knows Wura. <laughs> They're going to end up loving her. It's just 15 episodes. Calm down. Yeah, Love everybody her. knows Wura. And, and that's what I feel. I feel like as the series you know, progresses, people will get to so, see who she is and understand why she had to do what she did. Uh, okay. I mean, so. Yeah, so it. when I got the, the information that I would be doing this, I was like, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm doing my job. I have to be, I have to be professional. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. I, I well, it's been, I mean, this is my first time doing this. this. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that I'm doing it with you. And I based wouldn't on, have wanted based on, any other Based way. on the fact that, I mean, the first time that we were on screen together was a show was Max a thing. Was a show Max thing as well. Yeah, so this is the second time yes. we were on the screen together. But the tables were... Yeah, yeah, you were the one. Me, you know, it you was all about one. you. Now yeah, it's about me. Nice. Man. It's oh. Scarlett, superstar. And then somebody said something online, which made a lot of sense. I didn't even think about it. They said, oh, Lekon was the first... Um, a reality star for Showmax here in Nigeria, and now I'm also the first on the telenovela. Wow! I'm, the telenovela. I'm like that's cool stuff, and we happen to be in each other's life. That's amazing. And shout out Look to Showmax. Yes, yeah. thank you, Showmax. Shout out to Showmax. Yes, um, for making this happen. Yeah, this has been great. Thank you guys for watching. And obviously, go subscribe, show Max. Watch Wura. <laughs> Big loves. Keep supporting Scarlett. Keep supporting Lakron. Keep Please. supporting Showmax. Please. God bless Please. you guys.